Well, guys, we were supposed to get some snow last night, and they were saying like one to three inches, two to four inches, that kind of stuff, and it definitely snowed. And it's funny, I'm watching the TV weather this morning, and they're like, oh, parts of the state got ten and a half inches so far. I guess we underestimated it. Well, the downfall is that I'm not in that part of the state, but let's go see what we got. All right, here's the snow. Still snowing. Let's see how much we got. Oh, we got three and a half inches so far. Big freaking deal. In fact, I've decided that I'm not going to plow yet. I'm going to go to work and I'll plow after work. Huh. Over here we got about three and three quarters. Huh. Just shy of four inches, but still snowing. It's almost done. So I got my truck fired up and you never know if four wheel drive is going to work when you haven't used it for like a year. It only snowed like three times last year, so it barely ever gets used. So let's see if we can shift into four. Got the old school five speed here and four high is pulling that back. And let's see here. Did it work? Well, I got a, I got a thing on the dash that says I'm in four. That's cool. This is sacrilegious driving over my driveway before I have plowed it. But I'm being a badass today, I guess. Here we go. It's all good, it still works. Usually you can barely turn in four wheel drive in this truck, it wants to buck. Oh, that ain't so bad. They already plowed the road, it's barely got anything on it. Oh well, off to work I go. We'll do some plowing down there. All right, the roads aren't bad. They're pretty good. I mean, there's just a little bit of slush on them, but this is the first time that it's really snowed all year, so just got to take it easy. And I like driving a five-speed because you can just put the bad boy in third gear or second gear and go down a hill and not even have to touch the brakes, which I can't do that in my automatic transmission car very well. So I'll take the the stick in the snow any day of the week if you know what I mean so yeah the other side's all melted it's got all salt on it and everything it's really not so bad anyways I didn't mention that I basically live on top of a little hill and it's all downhill to get downtown so I got the truck in second gear just idling down the hill going about 15 miles an hour and I broke loose once, just had a little bit of a swervy, but the hard part is that there's curves on the hill. And when you get curves in the mix, it's always a tough thing. These guys go a little bit slower. Luckily, they really lay a ton of salt down on this hill because there's a lot of people that live up this way. And they always seem to do a good job keeping the road pretty good. But yeah it's fun all right we're gonna bust out the 817 over here and uh, i got a little bit of junk to move first before i can drive it out of here so move all this stuff and we'll come back all right i got all this junk cleared out of here i think it's been about three weeks since we had fixed this plow and i don't know we'll see what we got in a fuel tank here and I could put some fuel in there. I try not to put too much fuel in this thing because it never snows. I'm never going to use it. So I don't really want to load it up with gas and have it sitting around. So let me put some gas in and come back. Gassed up. Now we're going to check the oil. Remember last time I started it up, I just changed the oil. Yeah, it looks good on that dipstick. Okay. And then... Uh, I wonder what the heck that nut's from. I think that fell off the old seat bolt, so we'll toss that. And I'm going to find that primer down here on the fuel pump again. Pump it maybe a dozen times. All right, I did it 20. I'm a liar. All right, I'm going to put the seat pan down, and we'll see if we can start her up. Let's see. Make sure we're in neutral. Choke on. Throttle down. You got to hold this lever in to 
To get the safety switch, I'm gonna put my leg on there to hold it in. Yeah, baby. Idle this sucker down. This Onan is the bomb, man. Listen to that thing. I'm gonna turn it off. Now, a couple observations. Number one, this new seat and this new wear strip are awesome. It's like using a whole different machine than I normally use. Number two, the driveway got repaved this summer. And it is so nice to plow brand new pavement. I've never really done that before. And when you used to plow the driveway, you knew where the bumps and the dips were and everything. And I'm in this one spot where there used to be like a six inch dip and I'm bracing for the plow to trip back and everything. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's new pavement. It's not gonna do that. But you know, my memory of the bad spots for plowing this thing for almost 15 years or whatever, Every time you get near one, you brace yourself, but it never came. It's still snowing, but the driveway really cleared good. Um, I just wanted to play with my toys here. And I think the town is plowing the road now. I hear them out there. So I think there's an hour or two left of snow in the forecast. It's, I don't know, it's nine-ish right now, and it's supposed to stop at 11 or so. So I'll come out here again and do a final pass. I just wanted to rough out the driveway for now. And when we go home later, we'll play with some stuff there. I'm debating whether I should use the 812 or the 430 or, or what.